hey there till now we have created and use model within the console application only in this session we will use it in the asp.net core asp.net has a built-in support for the dependency injection if you are not aware of this then you can refer the asp.net tutorials let me add a new project within the sm solution of type asp.net core web app this project name will be mlnet asp demo i am going to use the asp.net web api you can use the mvc or other templates too asp.net core web api project is created to add support for using the ML.NET model, we need to add the few NuGet package. Search for Microsoft.ML, install it, and search for Microsoft.Extensions.ML and install that too. Let me create a new folder named ML models and paste the model that we have saved in the SSN 24 and also update its property to copy file into the output directory if it's new. Create folder for models and paste the input model and result model. Those are same as the our previous examples in which we have predicted salary. Our first step is adding dependency for prediction engine. Open the startup.cs file within the configuration surface method. Use the add prediction engine pool method and pass the input and result model in generic type. In ESP.NET, we can either place the model in the local file just like we did in this session and you can place it in the uh, somewhere else and you have the uh, URL so we need to use the either from file and from URI based on the where our model exists we have placed this file in the project so we need to use the from file and specify the model name that is salary predict model this is the name for the model that will be used to retrieve the model from the production engine pool. In the file path, specify the path to the model file. Using the watch for changes parameter, we can specify whether the application will automatically check for changes in the file or not. Let me pass through. However, we are not going to change the model while the application is running. We have added a dependency injection. Now we need to create a controller and predict a value within that create a new controller name salary prediction controller create a constructor inject the app prediction engine pool add Specify the input and result model. Create and initialize that field. We have injected dependency for the production engine pool. Create a new action that will perform the prediction. Public action result of string type. Predict. It will take the integer experience in the parameter. Create an instance of the input model from that experience. Use the predict method of the prediction engine pool to perform the prediction. This prediction engine will hold the multiple prediction engines. So we need to specify the model name on which we want to perform the prediction. This name should be a model name that we have specified in the startup.cs file. So let me copy this and pass the our input model in the example parameter. 
generate a string message that contain years of experience as well as salary and pass this message in the OK method. At the end, specify the year out for this method and remove the error from the controller. Save all the files and run the project. Open the production action. Pass the year parameter name experience. Let me predict it for the year three years. Here we got the year prediction. Let me change to the year 10 year. It working as per our expectations. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Here is a controller that we have created. We need to inject the year prediction engine pool and use the year predict method to perform the year prediction and specify the year model name on which we want to perform the year prediction. And input will be passed in the example parameter. In the configuration service, we need to use the add prediction engine pool method and add the model in the pool. We can add it from file as well as from URI. Assign the appropriate name for the model name. As the same name will be used while we performing the prediction using the prediction engine pool. And we have added the two packages microsoft.ml and microsoft.extensions.ml. See you in the next session.